faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane! If you do not know this introduction, most likely you lived in a cave. Are you ready? Hello everyone and welcome to Top Things. Don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to the sensational video that follows. Do you know the most powerful superhero on Earth? It's Superman. Surely you all know the famous movies, but have you ever wondered what your favorite actors look like almost half a century away? No other introduction, Superman cast, then and now. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's the stunning cast of 1978's Superman. At this point, we underestimate that consistently will bring the following hugely engaging exhibition that is the advanced hero film. In any case, before the last part of the 1970s, superheroes were transferred to awkward programs and economically made B-films. This all changed when Superman hit theaters. At that point, Superman was the most costly film ever made, however faced a significant challenge by giving an obscure role as the Man of Steel. A danger that more than took care of when shrouded jewel Christopher Reeve overwhelmed crowds and turned into a monstrous star. The film's cutting-edge enhancements, Oscar-named score, and awesome acting consolidated to make Superman a colossal achievement and one of the most noteworthy netting motion pictures of the 1970s. Today we're finding the cast of the film that made ready for the present slew of superhuman raving successes. Regardless of whether Hollywood legends or new confronted amateurs, each entertainer in Superman absolutely gave a super execution. Gene Hackman, Lex Luthor at that point, a genuine entertainer who featured in movies like Bonnie and Clyde and The French Connection, Gene Hackman was reluctant to play the part of Lex Luthor in the superhuman movie, and made things hard for Chief Richard Donner when he at last did. He wouldn't wear an uncovered cap, and it took a great deal of persuading for him to dispose of his mustache. Presently, Hackman has had a long and magnificent vocation, having featured in everything from Hoosiers to the Royal Tenenbaums. The unbelievable entertainer resigned from the business in 2004, following a last function in the parody, Welcome to Mooseport. Margot Kidder, Lois Lane At that point, the star of Dark Christmas was occupied with quite a projecting rivalry to play Superman's affection interest Lois Lane. Anne Archer, Leslie Ann Warren, and Stalker Channing, among numerous others, likewise competed for the part. In the end, it came down to Channing and Kidder, yet Kidder won because she was the lone entertainer who could see the humor in the line, What shade of clothing am I wearing? Presently, Kidder went on to broadly star in the Amityville Horror just as three more Superman films. She famously battled with emotional well-being issues during the 1990s when she vanished for four days just to surface on the neighbor's lawn. Her latest film is Matt's Chance featuring the similarly questionable Edward Furlong. <music> Valerie Perrin, Eve Teschmacher at that point, the function of Eve Teschmacher was initially offered to Goldie Hawn and Anne Margaret, who both needed an excessive amount of cash for the part. Valerie Perrin, star of The Last American Hero and Lenny, took the piece of Eve, Lex Luthor's sweetheart and associate. Presently, Perrin proceeded to star in Superman 2 and Cannonball Run. She actually keeps on acting to a great extent, most as of late springing up on a scene of the TV arrangement, Lights Out. Terrence Stamp, General Zod. At that point, a genuine entertainer prepared in theater, Terrence Stamp was picked to assume the part of the scalawag General Zod in both Superman and Superman 2. He had recently been selected for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his function in Billy Budd. Presently, Stamp has given a few widely praised exhibitions, most outstandingly in The Adventures of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, and The Limey. From 2003 to 2011, Stamp returned to the Superman universe and gave the voice of Jor-El, Clark Kent, Superman's dad, on the Warner Brothers arrangement, Smallville. Mark McClure, Jimmy Olsen At that point, Mark McClure beat out Jeff East, who depicts a youthful Clark Kent, for the function of paper picture taker Jimmy Olsen. McClure repeated the function in the following three Superman films and in Supergirl. Presently. McCure proceeded to star in each of the three Back to the Future motion pictures, That Thing You Do, and he had a function in both the first Freaky Friday film in 1976 and the 2003 revamp. Most as of late, he showed up in the dramatization Ice, Nixon. Sarah Douglas, Ursa At that point, 
Sarah Douglas captured the piece of Ursa, Zod's second in order, after entertainer Carolyn Monroe turned it down. Douglas was one of 600 entertainers to try out for the part, which turned into her first significant job. Presently, Douglas proceeded to depict Pamela Lynch for two seasons on the early evening drama Bird of Prey Crest prior to getting back to the science fiction type with parts in Babylon 5, Solar Babies, The Stepford Husbands, and The Return of Swamp Thing. These days, she does a great deal of voice work for TV, including Superman the Animated Series. Jack O'Halloran, non. At that point, the resigned heavyweight fighter had shown up with the incredible Robert Mitchum in Goodbye, My Lovely. For Superman, O'Halloran filled the role of Non, Zod's forcing and quiet subordinate. The fighter turned entertainer says it was his plan to make Non an uncorrupt character who uses sounds rather than words. Presently, O'Halloran had a couple of all the more acting jobs outstandingly in Troll and The Mob Boss, and in 2008 he declared designs to open his own chain of film studio offices. In 2010, O'Halloran distributed a book called Family Legacy, in which he subtleties his relationship with his dad, Albert Anastasia, the previous top of the Gambino wrongdoing family. Annette O'Toole, Lana Lang At that point, the function of Lana Lang, Clark Kent's youth darling in Superman 3, initially went out to Jennifer Jason Lee, who turned it down in light of the fact that she believed she was excessively youthful for the part. Annette O'Toole, star of Feline People and 48 Hours, played the job. Presently, O'Toole reappeared the Superman universe in the function of Martha Kent, another of the Clark Superman, in the Warner Brothers arrangement Smallville. She's likewise hitched to incredible comedic entertainer Michael McKean. Pamela Stevenson, Lorelai. At that point, actress Pamela Stevenson assumed the part of Lorelai, partner to the despicable Ross Webster, who claims to be somewhat of an imbecile to trick individuals into getting what she needs in Superman 3. Presently, the New Zealand conceived Stevenson turned into the principal non American Saturday Night Live cast part during its 1984 1985 season, where she had practical experience in doing right on the money pantomimes of mainstream society symbols like Madonna and Cyndi Lauper. Stevenson, presently Pamela Stevenson Connolly in the wake of wedding comedian Billy Connolly, has a PhD in clinical brain science and her own Beverly Hills based private practice. Robert Vaughn, Ross Webster. At that point, Robert Vaughn had recently featured in The Magnificent Seven and Bullet, prior to marking on to plain detestable multimillionaire Ross Webster, the man Superman should prevent from assuming control over the world's oil supply in Superman 3. Presently, Vaughn is very acceptable at playing the low life and has done as such in a few movies, including Trey Parker and Matt Stone's games parody, Basketball. John Cryer, Lenny. At that point, just one year before being given a role as Lenny Luther, child of reprobate Lex in Superman 4, The Quest for Peace, John Cryer had become well known in the exemplary John Hughes film, Beautiful in Pink. Presently, Cryer had some good and bad times throughout the long term, however discovered tremendous accomplishment on the CBS TV arrangement Over Two Men, which has been broadcasting live since 2003. Mark Pillow, Nuclear Man At that point, Mark Pillow had never acted in a film before Superman 4 The Quest for Peace and was projected dependent on his actual comparability to Christopher Reeve. Pat assumed the function of Nuclear Man, which was inexactly founded on the Atom Man character from the Superman comic books. Presently, Pillow never acted in another film and however he had some minor TV jobs, the disappointment of Superman 4 basically demolished any opportunity he had of having a movie profession. Ariel Hemingway, Lacey Warfield. At that point, granddaughter of acclaimed author Ernest Hemingway, Muriel Hemingway, had featured in Woody Allen's Manhattan at age 16 and Star 80, preceding being projected in Superman 4 as Lacey Warfield, the new manager of the Daily Planet and a potential love interest for Clark Kent. Presently, Hemingway proceeded to show up in the famous lesbian kiss scene of Roseanne and featured in the fleeting ABC arrangement Common Wars. Most as of late, she showed up in the narrative Running From Crazy. Hemingway got her granddad's talent for composing and has distributed three books, including a journal and a cookbook. What was the most shocking transformation? Leave a comment with the order in which you think they should have been arranged. Subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications to be notified when a new video appears. Take care of yourself.